everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beeson's in Airport every single Tuesday and Sunday. So today we are doing our weekly reset. There's a lot to do. And basically I'm just gonna go through and show you what I do to get us ready for the week ahead. <laughs> this is embarrassing to say, but I'm actually like out of breath right now from all the laundry that I just did. It's time to make my bed, which will definitely be a workout in itself. But this week is crazy because there's just like a lot of appointments and things that are going on outside of, the, outside of the house. I'm going on Tanner's field trip. I have a hair appointment this week, much needed. Um, I have a checkup. We have like a weekend jam packed full of soccer games, just a lot of outside stuff going on. I already meal planned, I'll share that with you. You probably already saw it in my weekly update that I sent if you don't um, belong to my email list just go to tiffanybeeston.com and it's right at the bottom of the website just type your email in and then every sunday you'll get an email with just like updates and um, the recipes i'm going to be trying that week and all of that but if you haven't seen it i'm going to share it here as well but before we get into this video i want to thank zag for sponsoring if you don't know what zag is they make amazing products for your phone and not just your phone other devices as well I'll get into that later. I'm gonna actually switch out my phone case and my screen protector, and we'll get into that just when I have a moment to sit down. But right now, we're gonna start on the laundry. Also, we have a bunch of the neighborhood kids here playing soccer and all that kind of stuff, so it's gonna be like vlog style slash voiceover. But anyway, let's get started. All right, first things first, I'm catching up with the laundry. I noticed that my sheets and pillowcases were still a little damp, so I am taking the clothes out that were fully dry and then putting my sheets and pillowcases back in for a little longer. This banister has been the best drying rack ever. We do still want to like do a DIY laundry room makeover kind of like we did at the Bay House and I definitely want something in there that I'll be able to hang my clothes on, but for now, this is working. I feel like I hang at least 80% of my clothes. Do you mostly hang your clothes or dry them? So one of the things I indulge in once in a while is Lululemon leggings. These I've had since I was pregnant with Ella, so I feel like they're worth the investment. However, they're super like getting fuzzbally and I like shave them with the shaver and all that. But I heard a rumor that you can like kind of trade your leggings in for money off. Is that true? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? If it is, please let me know. All right, the sheets and pillowcases are dry, so I'm just throwing those on really quickly. It, it looks really easy in the video, but trust me, I'm out of breath right now making this bed. I am putting all the pillowcases back on. The comforter wasn't washed or dried yet. It does fit in the washer, as you'll see, but it does take a bit to dry because it mainly air dries, and then I kind of just let it in the, go in the dryer for about like 10 minutes or so on a cool setting since it is like that faux fur. I should probably be bringing this comforter to the laundry mat, but I just really just shove it in there until it fits and it comes out good every time. So, so far so good. Hopefully I don't break my washer. So again, I'd like to thank Zag for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm so excited to finally put a new case on as well as a new screen protector that also filters out blue light which we know I need because I'm on my phone a lot and especially at night once I get the kids to bed so I need to filter out that blue light. Zag makes amazing graphene cases. Graphene is the strongest material on earth and is used by some of the most trusted global innovators such as SpaceX, Ferrari, Boeing, US Army and more. It's actually 200 times stronger than steel and lighter than aluminum 
It's harder than a diamond, yet more elastic than rubber. So with Zags graphene cases, you get the same level of protection as a bulky case, but in a much thinner case, which is super important to me because my kids are always on my phone, especially the girls are constantly taking selfies or making, you know, fake little YouTube videos and you know, obviously my phone gets dropped here and there, so I need to protect it again since I work on my phone and pretty much run my business from it. Okay, I probably drop my phone more than them actually because I'm always carrying so much stuff, but as you can see here, you can choose from simple classic cases or fashion forward designs. The screen protectors are just as good as the cases. As a content creator, I'm constantly working on my phone and my screen time has definitely negatively affected my sleep, but since getting the Zag Glasslight XDR3 with blue light filtration, my sleep has never been better. Zag is number one in screen protection and has protected over 350 million devices, so not only is the screen protector the strongest, most advanced protection, but through its patented eye safe technology, it filters out 60% of intense blue light, which allows you to keep your eyes safe from blue light without having to compromise the vibrant colors of the display screen. Protector also helps improve sleep and limits your dry eyes after screen usage. And if you didn't know, artificial blue light suppresses melatonin production in our bodies, which is no good because melatonin is the hormone that makes us feel sleepy. Of course, it's best to put away your digital devices at bedtime, but if you can't, make sure you have an invisible shield screen protector with iSafe. All this is super important to me because I am on my phone so much since this is what I do for a living, but not only is it protecting my eyes, it's protecting my kids' eyes when they take my phone. So be sure to check out Zag. I'll have everything linked down below, and you can use my code TiffanyRose for a discount at zag.com. Okay, bed is half made, big blanket. That takes forever to dry is in the washer now. And I'm just catching up on the dishes because this morning we went to breakfast with my sister. Chris is at the bay with his brother taking the boat out for the winter. It was like he sent me a video and it felt emotional. So many amazing memories made this summer on that boat in general, just with our entire family. Like it was amazing. But anyway, I usually unload the dishwasher in the morning, but it was just me. And I was trying to get everybody out the door to breakfast a half an hour away at 9 a.m. So you know how it goes. So basically, unload the dishwasher and get the sink cleaned out. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure to check out my last video that I did in my declutter series. I think it was episode four, but I did the kitchen and it definitely helps with just like putting everything away and makes it a lot less stressful since everything has a home. Decluttering is just like, it's almost healing in a way. I don't know if anybody can relate, but it just, it feels so good to get rid of things that you're not using and give them to people that may use it and just clear up some space. This morning when I was making my coffee, I was thinking, wow, I feel like I just took my fall and Halloween cups out and now I'm about to, you know, change them over to my Christmas mugs and it's just wild. Today in Pennsylvania, it was like almost 80 degrees, which is just bizarre. And then I think tomorrow it's switching back over to like being freezing and raining and I don't think we're gonna have a nice Halloween per se. I think it's cold, but at least so far no rain in the forecast. So we have that going for us. So as you can see, now that we're done putting all the dishes away, we're just reloading the dishwasher and washing some dishes by hand. The girls love helping and I hope that they always stay this way because I could definitely use some help. 
But what's the reason it hurts? So I need to do that. I will have to clean it. So I have to wash. All right, the girls are cleaning windows and the groceries are here. I better add this to their list. Can't even see, but there's lots and lots of fingerprints. Okay. I don't remember if I mentioned this, but Tanner slept at my mother-in-law's the night before and went to my nephew's football game. And so that's why he's not around today. He just wanted to. Carter was originally going to and then changed his mind last minute. But I think Tanner really enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one time with his BB and Pop-Pop. But that is where he is and why he's not helping right now. So Evie is two going on 30. She just organized all the bars in the pantry and now she's bringing me a cup to make her some Ningxia, which she loves. But it's just so funny being the fourth child maybe she's just very independent she's super coordinated and she could honestly run this house by herself all right so everly just spilled a half a bottle of cleaner on the ground luckily it's the used and we have lots of it and luckily it's low talk so we're all good carter is going to help me put the groceries away but first i wanted to do a little haul we're gonna do the cold stuff first. So we got french fries, almond milk. This is like my favorite thing ever with crackers. It is the cranberry orange goat cheese. It's like a treat. Also, I feel like it would be good in a salad. This cottage cheese, I usually get like a big one, but I'm figuring I can get two breakfasts out of this. I put it on top of my toast, and then I can have this because I'm obsessed with veggie cream cheese. So this looks really good. You can see all the veggies in there. Waffles are staple. For one of my recipes, these are always good to have on hand. This is not my most organized haul, please forgive me. Um, this root beer is for me, it's like my favorite. Have it with some ice and a wine glass. Snacks, macro bars. My first time trying these, um, but I figured they'd be good with the goat cheese. These I like to put like peanut butter and jelly on or even the cottage cheese stuff. This is for one of our recipes this week. Got onions, potatoes. Pears. Thank God Chris is home. <laughs> I got some peppermint tea. Microgreens I like to have on top of the cottage cheese. Arugula, spring mix, broccoli. I love the shape Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. Peppers, the kids like these in their lunches too. Lemon, tortilla chips. I just noticed that they're unsalted. That's terrifying. Pirate's booty, crackers, and seaweed. I ordered grapefruit, but this is what I got. So that'll be interesting to try. Blood oranges. Some miscellaneous, so we got ketchup, enchilada sauce for a recipe. This is also for a recipe. Black beans just needed to restock for our chicken noodle soup. Evie loves these. And then hot cocoa, it's that time of year. Carter's favorite. Kids love these for dessert. These are also the kids' favorite popsicles, which are great to have on hand for when they're sick or anything like that. Chocolate chips. This is for me with my week coming up. These are good for the kids' um, lunch boxes as like a little treat. Sorry that haul was so chaotic, but that's what my house sounds like. That's real life. Chris and Tanner are home. Chris picked Tanner up on the way home from the bay. And we're just putting away all the groceries. The blood oranges were amazing. The french fries were disgusting. And the unsalted chips were actually really good. All right, it just got so crazy up in here, like witching hour type of thing. So I'm gonna make this turkey enchilada skillet, but I'm gonna do it as a voiceover so that you don't lose your mind, like I am currently right now. They're so good and so sweet, but I would be lying if I say that sounds don't overstimulate me. Sounds are like really hard for me. Like when there's like a lot of like voices and arguing or just 
a bunch of like iPads on or TVs like sounds just get to me as a mom I know that other moms can relate so that's why it's like you know what let's just go ahead and do a voiceover so you can enjoy this so this dinner was so easy 10 out of 10 pretty healthy if you ask me um, so just use whatever ground meat you want and then you according to the recipe you season it with just a little bit of cumin I will link the recipe down below if you didn't get it in my newsletter don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. It's free. Just go to tiffanybeeson.com and I send out a weekly newsletter on Sundays just so like with my meal plan and like any kind of life updates, links, like a little bit of everything. It's basically just like keeping up with me and like what's going on. And I, you know, do have the links to recipes in there that I'm trying for the week. But this was so good and so easy. Also, this chopper is also a 10 out of 10. Um, so... The recipe calls for like a tablespoon of cumin or a teaspoon, I forget, you'll see in the link. But I thought to myself, I was like, this would honestly be really good with just taco seasoning as well. So I'll probably do that next time. So you cook your meat, season it, take it out, and then you cook your onions and your peppers and add your meat back in with all the other stuff like the corn, the black beans, just very easy. But what was new to me was cutting up tortillas and adding that in, so it really did taste like enchiladas and it was delicious This is just me stirring awkwardly trying to get a thumbnail photo, so <laughs> please forgive that. But one thing that I will say, ours came out great, but I could see how somebody could get this wrong and like overcook the tortillas in here and then they would be soggy and not good. So you definitely want to put them in the last minute and add your shredded cheese and serve. So delicious. You can add whatever toppings. We added like crunchy seasoned tortilla chip type things. You'll see they're, um, they come in a bag, they're tortilla strips. And I love that it gave it like a good crunch. So something like that, even just like a regular tortilla chip would work. I also made backup tacos because I know my kids and we always pretty much have like chicken wings or tacos on hand since they all love those. Right, dinner was amazing. I started this video a little bit later on a Sunday, but I was able to get the groceries taken care of, meal plan, and get my video up, of course, all that stuff, get my newsletter out on Sunday, take the kids out to breakfast, have neighbors over for a play date, and making a, a delicious dinner. So I feel like that's enough for this day because, like I said, it's Sunday when I'm filming this. It's 9.30. We're gonna get that Sunday self-care and I'm gonna take a bath, do a face mask, do a little bit more planning, but I also wanna to get to bed on time and be able to read a little bit of my book because I'm obsessed. So let's do that. First, let's get all the naked Barbies out of the bathtub. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. 
So, you know, I love essential oils, always have, always will, especially Young Living because in my opinion, they're the purest. So when you're putting essential oils into your bathtub, you want to put them in like some Epsom salts. Otherwise, oil will kind of just like stick to the top of the water and not really disperse. So that's why I did that. And I just wound up putting it in the actual jar because it was like I needed to refill it anyway. Also, I buy uh, magnesium Epsom salts as well. Those are great to use too, even for kids. Just check with your doctor if you want to be sure. But I use it for Carter and stuff, you know, after sports when his legs are sore and all that. And I feel like it definitely helps him. So anyway, using the water flosser, that's an amazing new purchase. I love the water flosser. Brushing my teeth, putting some planning stuff out um, just so I can kind of clear my mind. And now I'm doing this face mask. This is a Young Living face mask. It's um, their charcoal face mask and it burns your face. But it's like, I have super sensitive skin in the first place, but it's supposed to, it's supposed to burn. So you'll see when I take it off, it's like, my face is very red. It's just a clarifying, like pore cleansing type of face mask that I like to use once a week because I feel like it kind of just cleans out everything. So I looked it up and it has, where is it? It's peppermint oil and alpha hydroxy acids and it supports the appearance of softer, brighter and clearer skin and it has a tingling action you can feel. So that's what I meant when I said that it's supposed to make your face burn more so. I guess I should say it's supposed to make your face tingly. The redness goes away in like a couple of minutes for me, but I can only stand to have the mask on for a little bit. I know I can keep it on longer, but not me. Hey guys, so we are on day two of our weekly reset, our day two and final day. It doesn't usually, sometimes it takes like at least half of the other day, but since I started so late yesterday, I need to finish everything up today. I just already got back from a doctor's appointment and editing and finishing up a video. And now I just need to get like our house like cleaned and in order. But first I'm gonna put away my factor and eat some lunch. It's just 11 o'clock right now. Um, but I had to pick up Evie soon from preschool and need to get some lunch in. You only call me on the weekends when you're out in a boat. Only chasing highs you need me. He brings me flowers on a two. It's so funny. I always separate like Chris's three from my three. So we just know because we each pick three every week. Except this week coming up we picked four. Um, but he got roasted red pepper, tortellini, and Italian sausage, red pepper, queso chicken, and shredded chicken taco bowl. And I got cheddar apple shredded chicken, pecan honey Dijon chicken, and peanut Buddha bowl, which I'm having a hard time deciding because I love it. So real quick, we are going to the car wash before I pick up Everly from school. This is also something that we do weekly. I told you plenty of times before that we have like a monthly membership at the car wash. It's pretty inexpensive. And plus the kids love to go through the car wash anyway. So we usually will grab a nice coffee and go through the car wash. That's something that's also on my monthly reset. If you're looking for a monthly reset, it's one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. I gave you a free printable on my website. Again, it's just tiffanybaston.com. Um, and you can check off what, you know, everything for the monthly reset. I uploaded a November one on there as well. Um, but just like a quick car wash, a quick vacuum, and then we are headed back home. But I feel like if I'm like in a messy car, it's the same way I feel with my house. Like it just like, you know, I can't think straight. I guess like usually every time we get home, I have the kids bring in some stuff and I bring in some stuff as well. But you know, I definitely need the car at least like cleared out of like their shoes and toys and things like that every day. But as you can see, it really needed a good vacuum with soccer and sports, all that kind of stuff. Our car gets messy real quick. So I've talked about this plenty of times in the past, but having a clean home and having a clean car is not like, it's not about being perfect and it's not about what other people think. It's about for you having a clear mind 
a calm space so that you can take whatever is thrown your way. It's kind of like you got to control what you can control so that you can take on whatever life throws at you. So to have your home and your car be a place of calm and peace, it just makes everything else easier. Also in your home, like being able to find things and put things away and have space for stuff. It just, in my mind, it all makes sense. Another thing besides taking care of your physical items, I always think about taking care of yourself and, you know, you just take care of everything that you have with gratitude. Basically, you show God your gratefulness by taking care of yourself and your things, if that makes sense. So lunch was so good. And we ran to pick up Everly and went to give the car a bath, as she says. So that's a part of our weekly reset. Now we have like the whole neighborhood here. I forgot we have a half day here. So I'm gonna switch over to voiceover. <laughs> So our house has quickly become the house that like a lot of the neighborhood kids come to, which is a dream come true. It's something that I've always wanted, especially like I'm like able to look after our kids and I'm happy that all of the other kids like have a good time here. We have soccer nets in the backyard, our swing set. We have a craft closet. They do Play-Doh a lot. These little um, post-its are how they mark their water cups. Uh, I love it. I mean, I honestly like half the bus gets off, goes home, drops off their stuff come here, take a snack out of our pantry, then go play. I'm happy that they're comfortable here. And I don't know, I love it. And yeah, so some days it's like, all right, you can only play for a little bit because we have soccer practice or whatever, but pretty much every day there's kids here. I'm not sure how it's gonna be in the winter. I hope they can just bundle up and still be able to play soccer because that seems to be what they really love. So again, just finishing up dishes and stuff over here. I'm gonna just take you through a couple more chores and then we're gonna do our weekly refills. Um, one of the chores that I had on the list was to get rid of the rotten pumpkins out front. We went to the pumpkin patch so early this year and of course the jack-o'-lanterns didn't last as long as we would have liked them to. Also, this is my new vacuum. I showed it to you before, but I got it when they were doing like the Amazon Prime deals which I do have an Amazon storefront. I do have LTK, like I have my own pages. If you ever are like looking for a link and I don't answer you right away, just be sure to follow the Amazon storefront and my LTK page. I always have them linked down in the description box, but this was such a good deal and it has like so many different attachments that come with it. And basically I'm just loving it. And then I also love now having the old Dyson upstairs. So if I wanna just like quickly grab the stick vacuum and clean something up I can because before we just had like the robot vacuum up there but yeah now I'm out front getting rid of this disgusting pumpkin when I went to go pick it up it basically fell apart and like all these flies started flying around it smelled horrible I had to like I leaf blew it and then I like poured some water on it but much better now <laughs> So one of Everly's favorite things to do is water the mums. She reminds me that we have to water them and it's the cutest thing in the entire world. Another thing that I love to watch her do is eat soup and we are getting ready to make soup for dinner tonight. This is officially our own recipe that we made up based on like ingredients that we had when one of the kids wanted chicken noodle soup. We probably have chicken noodle soup at least once a week for sure. Um, but we basically made up a chicken ramen soup. Not that it's like rocket science, but it just became like one of our favorite recipes and now it's always requested and I wonder if we'll ever go back to regular because it's just so much better with ramen. But anyway, we're doing our refills. I'm just refilling diapers and wipes and toilet paper. Basically just any refill we need, including the coffee area, like refilling the sugars, the water tank, refilling the ice maker water. Um, and then at the end of the night, I'm gonna, you'll see I refill our hand soap and dish soap as well. Someday, someday. So I know like a lot of people relate like their housework and duties at home to like a job so like you have your routine like the same way you would as a job andrea at home and family management always talks about how like 
she runs her home based on how she used to run her tanning salon. I love all of that. I also think that once you just get into routines like this, it's mindless. So, um, you know, at night before bed, I always make sure all the water is full, including the mop, just like little things like that to make life easier. Um, but weekly definitely like want to refill everything, go through their book bags, make sure they have whatever they need for the week. I usually go through their school calendar. We just got over spirit week last week make sure they have whatever clothes they're supposed to wear on each day in the different colors. Basically on your reset, you want to just make sure you're ready for the week ahead. You want to look at your calendar and do your refills, have a clean car, plan your meals, get your groceries, and again, control what you can so that you can handle the chaos. One of my refills is also the lemon, ginger, and turmeric and whatever else I have on hand tonic. This time I used some lime because I had that. It was really good. Um, and ginger and turmeric. I usually uh, add the grapefruit, but they didn't have it, and I, the kids eat all the blood oranges. I don't know if I said that, but they love the blood oranges. They're a little bit more expensive than regular oranges, but they loved them. I had a piece. I really didn't get the hype. I thought it tastes like an expensive orange. So I've done this in the past, and I kind of miss it, so I'm like, I always feel bad like getting rid of, like, you know, the peels of my fruit because I know that they're so good for other things um, but I am putting all of my lemon peels in here and topping it off with vinegar um, and this just creates like an anti I think it's antibacterial spray but whatever I don't want to be wrong but I'm pretty sure it says antibacterial but I've used it in the past and I usually just save it like for the bathrooms and stuff like that and just use my thieves cleaner for other stuff but you want to keep it for two weeks like in a dark place so I put it under the sink and then it's ready to use. Okay, I researched on Google and of course everyone's afraid to call it like antibacterial or anything because I don't know if it can be you know if it's PC or not but basically lemon can has flavonoids in it and can break down like cell membra membranes of bacteria so that sounds like antibacterial to me but ask Google not me. When I saw you so if you want Jessica Spires has like multiple different like juicing recipes for she originally turned me on to this for the lemon ginger tonic with it just lemons and ginger and then I saw a recipe online that was like add turmeric and then you can basically just add whatever you want to these shots and call them a wellness shot basically. So I don't have an exact recipe. It just like depends what groceries I have that week and how much I feel like the juicer is spitting out. I always talk about how I want to get a new juicer. I feel like whenever I put the turmeric in, I barely get any juice out of it. So I don't know, maybe it's the turmeric, but I basically just don't have an exact recipe for this. And like sometimes I'll have oranges, sometimes I won't. Uh, but basically it's just all, it's all good juice, it's good for you. Also, Ella peeled me a banana and basically reminded me that my bananas need to be used up. So we are going to make chocolate chip banana muffins. That's why you saw the bananas being thrown into a bowl randomly, just because she already started peeling them. It's my same recipe that I've used forever. Um, that could go in our cookbook too, because that's one of ours. Um, but chocolate chip banana muffins coming up and I'll leave the recipe um, in the description box. Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. I wonder where are you now? So for the banana muffins, you don't need to do anything fancy. Just mash them up. I'm using my like thing that I use for to like break up meat or mashed potatoes, whatever. You can use a fork. It doesn't have to be this fancy whatever this thing is called. Mash up your bananas, add in your wet ingredients, which is some eggs and some butter.
Now we're adding in our dry ingredients. I'm using coconut sugar. Some people say that like coconut sugar is not better than white sugar. It's all the same sugar as sugar. In my mind, it feels better to use coconut sugar and I still think it tastes really good. And then the flour that I use all the time is King Arthur's flour. And of course we always add some cinnamon, um, but these are just so easy, especially cause it's just like a one bowl thing. You know, I love if I can only have to clean like one dish over 15 dishes. So we love that. Now that everything's mixed together, we add our chocolate chips and we measure that with our heart. It's silent now, we don't say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said, yeah, it kind of broke my heart. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't want to change who you are The things you say is always one step too far But I know now we're gonna bake that on 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. That's when I usually start checking them and go from there. But now we're getting started on our soup. I just have two chicken breasts and I'm using this adobo seasoning that I just love. Um, been using it on everything basically. It was because we ran out of Flavor God Ranch, which is what we usually use on our chicken wings. But um, it ran out and I can only get it online. So I found this and fell in love with it. So while the chicken is in the air fryer for our chicken noodle soup, Chris is peeling me some carrots. I'm gonna run upstairs and put the girls' clothes away, and then we will come back down and finish out our soup recipe. Try your best to hold up, but I see you giving in. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this. We hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. The things you say is always one step too far. Muffins are done and we're getting started on our soup. This time I put like little post-it notes on all of my seasonings and everything and just try to remember how much seasoning I wound up using so that I can actually write down a genuine recipe for you guys. But I'm using one whole yellow onion and about four garlic cloves. So I'm going to go ahead and cut up our onion first and then I'm using four carrots, they're larger carrots, and then four celery stalks. I can teach you anything about cooking it's that it's not that serious I used to I am obviously self-taught by Food Network um, and Pinterest but anyway um, when I first started cooking I was so afraid I'm like what what is a stalk of celery is that the whole thing or is that like one um, and then I will never forget I think I told you guys this before but like my sister gave me a recipe and she's like use a clove of garlic I thought a clove of garlic was a head of garlic so I had so many different learning curves and I used to get so caught up on like how much spices were I was using and like if it was exact and then I noticed that like well I'm gonna try it if it tastes good I'm gonna keep it if it if it's not to my liking I'm gonna add more spice you don't have to go by other people's spices everybody has different taste buds everybody has different tastes that's why like when I grab a Pinterest recipe it's like 
that's like the base of my recipe and then I wind up you know doing whatever I do to the flavor or you know add whatever I want but cooking is supposed to be fun I know like when it's like you have to cook and you're exhausted and you need to feed your kids and pray they like it and all that it can be stressful but try to have fun with it because I have a lot of fun with it and I feel like my kids are getting like a love of cooking and baking as well I also used to really hate baking and now I feel a lot more confident with it um, I don't know I just feel like everything comes with time and also a lot of my recipes are insanely easy because that's what I need in my life so definitely not like claiming to be a Giada or anything like that but I definitely have some good recipes I definitely know how to cook and bake now So basically get your veggies I always do like my onion and carrot first in like some oil or butter saute them until everything's translucent and then you know I cooked my chicken in the air fryer you can get a rotisserie chicken however you want your chicken you can shred your chicken I know some people make chicken in the beginning of the week just like a plain chicken in broth in the crock pot so they have shredded chicken throughout the week for different recipes however you want your chicken add that in and your broth and your spices and it's so easy and I just love like that my kids love it because I feel like they're getting some good stuff in there especially because I add the beef bone broth I feel like it's really good for you get your veggies your protein um, and I don't know it's just a staple in our house what are some staples in your house obviously you know ours are chicken noodle soup chicken wings tacos um, what else Sometimes we'll do like a breakfast for dinner. Spaghetti is, a, is another one. And of course, the toddler favorites like chicken noodle soup, mac and cheese, not chicken noodle soup. I'm really on the soup here, guys, sorry. Um, like mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, the fries, not the ones that we bought in this video because they were gross, so we did not like those. Um, Evie's currently on her Annie's Mickey Mouse mac and cheese binge. Another tip is you see like our soups are all laid out and only some have peas well peas cool off your soup right and only some of my kids like peas so i add them at the very end god is good god is great thank you for food amen i honestly love like looking back on pictures and videos and stuff like this when my kids go to sleep because it's so hard in the moment obviously i'm always so grateful for them and love them so much but you're frazzled as a mom at least i am sometimes and just like taking a step back and getting to see it from afar just always makes me even more grateful for my family but anyway i hope that you all enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up leave me all your november video requests even though i feel like i got them all and um, i think you're really gonna like the november content that comes out i'll be putting out that schedule with um, my weekly update either this week or next but have an awesome halloween and i will see you on tuesday for a crock pot marathon video